Welcome back guys, Bob Grows here with more growth. What we have in front of us is my rain gutter grow system. Uh, that's just a fancy name for it. Technically it is a sub irrigated planter or self watering container where the soil draws up the water through capillary action through the bottom element, which is sitting in a technically a reservoir of water. This rain gutter here capped at both ends. Let me show you real quick what's doing the wicking. Oh, you can see something sprouting there that's perpetual spinach coming up you can tell by the well because i planted it i put the seeds and also that really really red vibrant stem so here we can look underneath you can see a shirt uh sticking out the bottom around a net cup and the net cup has soil in it inside but the shirt wicks it up and the soil uh wicks it up because it's sitting inside the reservoir of water and hold on we have party music passing by so uh, now that that passed by, uh, we have some totes here. I think it'd be optimal if the totes were taller because this soil is very moist from what I can see. We have Walmart bags here, which work as grow bags with the self pruning root action. Once the, the, the roots reach the edge, instead of circling around, making it root bound, they just uh, self prune. It's sitting on top of a five gallon container lid three inch hole three inch net pot same you can either use a t-shirt on these i used garden fabric uh but a t-shirt if you got you, you might as well repurpose t-shirts right instead of buying uh, more products and spending more money and i believe the uh the cotton is pretty robust from t-shirts so you just wrap it around and that kind of helps wick as well uh these are all figs i bought these figs on ebay as a variety or sample pack uh, they came as live plants that I'm assuming they were cuttings at one point but <clears throat> got six different varieties I put this in here not too long ago but you can see new growth already coming out this is Chicago Hardy this is uh, beers black fig GE Neri we have Latarula Italian honey fig Olympian fig and LSU purple. This is just normal potting mix. Uh, there's nothing special about it. I know the creator of this system has his own specific blend, peat moss, uh, a variety of things. I just found this to work really well and I don't have to be mixing and buying different components. So this is just a standard outdoor potting mix. Back here we have containers. We have five gallon uh, containers, buckets. This one here is a seedling of cayenne pepper growing this is the same thing three inch net pot in the bottom sticking out drying up wicking up water some people cut holes in these and line it with cloth so it would have the self wicking action while having the sturdiness of a plastic container i planted this one yesterday or the day before this is large red cherry pepper obviously it looks pretty lush still uh this one is nothing <laughs> as we can see this is a dead leaf these are the habaneros these are the star of my rain gutter growth system. These guys were super tiny and they just exploded with growth. As we can see, everybody's driving their diesel truck around today. But these are the habaneros and they are taking off. We'll come back to them in a second. A lot of people put these videos up and you don't actually see anything growing. But here we have an update with growth. I can't wait till the figs take off. Here we have the patio tomatoes there's two of them i haven't received any tomatoes yet but there's plenty of flowers coming up don't mind my dirty soil hands this one is empty and this one is ghost pepper that i saved inside he was growing in the grow tent i have inside underneath the purple light and he wasn't doing too hot so i think i saved him he seems to be growing a little bit but time will tell if i actually saved him so there are the rain gutters. These can be fully automatic. They aren't currently. I have to top them off with the garden hose. We got a little leak over here, but I have to top them off with the garden hose uh, every other day or so. And that just keeps everything hydrated at its need. It just the capillary action of the soil and the, the cloth or the bags in this case, draw the water up and it uses it as necessary. So let us continue. This is a pepper over here. There's also an experiment going on. That's going to be in another video. So let's run back to the habaneros. As you can see, the growth is absolutely crazy. There's blossoms and flowers everywhere. But let's see where the peppers are. There you have it, boys. 
or girls, probably boys because I could see the analytics. But <laughs> uh, we have plenty of habaneros coming out absolutely everywhere. So these were just store-bought. I dropped them in here. And uh, it appears they're growing well. I really can't wait to get these hot peppers. Look at that beautiful growth. Every now and then I do see some pests. Uh, hornworm, I had to take one off. He, he could eat through the whole plant one day, so I took him off. Uh, sometimes I have white flies and I just smush them with my hand. Nothing special. I don't think it requires any type of uh, pesticide or anything like that. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching this update. I do plan to put other rails with other things. Obviously, you can see I have a lot of real estate here to put this stuff, and I can't really plant anything into concrete. But uh, here we have, you know, just a nice little garden going. So I hope you guys follow along. Thank you all. Peace.